Welcome back to Let's Play Terra Enigma with Shadow Bijou and eventually my brother Rhino will be joining us because he's making noodles for himself to eat at the moment. So he'll join us a bit later on for the moment. I don't need to buy this but I I will. Wait, I need more money. Never mind, I guess I won't buy that. I didn't need your crappy fur coat anyway. Really? I don't have enough money? What have I been spending it on? That's really weird. I usually have a lot more money by now. I'm not sure what exactly. Because I bought that Stardew, actually, that's like 300 bucks. That would have made a difference. Yeah. Okay, now we're in Tibet, which is a pretty interesting place, I think, to revive the humans because of the, um, yeah, the uh, Tibetans are a really spiritual human race. Um, extremely spiritual. They have so much spirituality. Um, so I think it's pretty appropriate that this is where you revive humans. Anyway, oh, now we're in Elkimata. Elko Matter? I think that's the name of the place. There's a bunch of wolves around here and they're really annoying. What the wolves can do, they can howl and call for help. Oh, these things are annoying too. Um, they can... This is Elko Matter. The souls of humankind sleep here. Thank you, random plant. Because apparently flowers are red and blue in snowy places. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the wolves can howl to summon help. Um, all they do is just pretty much call another wolf to come help them, so it just, yeah. If you're a low level, you probably don't want to verse too many of them at once, but I suppose also if you're at a low level, you'd want to have as much experience as possible, so. You may want them to summon them more wolves. It's just your preference, really. I, I don't really care if they summon them or not. Just be careful you don't get knocked off here. It's kind of annoying. Bit of a bitchy thing, then putting up there. This Yeti attacks you, so make sure you get a preemptive strike. Because they are pretty, they are reasonably strong enemies, especially if they pick you up and throw you. See, now he's angry. That's okay. Because, Jesus Christ. I was going to say, jeez, a lot of HP. Yeti is a free beast. It can become a friend or a foe. A foe or a friend. Free beast. Doesn't discriminate. But most of them are foes. There's one that becomes an enemy. Uh, most of them are foes. There is one that becomes a friend, which is good. Which is that one there. Hot water appears to be flowing from the ground. Yeti is soaking contentedly. I don't remember my Yomi voice. Bijou, see this? It's a hot spring. What's that? It's a spring of hot water at at least 25 degrees Celsius, which equates to about one about 85 degrees Fahrenheit or so. I'm just making that up. I don't know Fahrenheit that well. It should also contain uh, inorganic substances and some gases. It heals wounds too. This Yeti must be nursing some wounds. Huh, you know some strange stuff. Where'd you learn that? <laughs> You're not in the same intellectual league as me. Isn't he like one thousand? That's years an old insult. Well? Pardon? Isn't he like one thousand years old as well? Who, Yomi? As yeah. as my brother Ryan joins me again. Are you watching your noodles? Yeah, I put the time on. Okay. Yeah, but... Sounds like it's beeping already. It's not. It might just be the music of the game. I think you can only hit those guys with jumping attacks, so use the use the dive attack or the spin jump. You are correct, because I remember that because you said something complaining about me I complain. I said what? You're complaining about it. <laughs> was I? Yeah. I don't remember that. And then you go. Now you want to pick these rocks up and move them so you can run down the thing here and break the wall once you get to it. Oh, I was waiting for that. And those, those rocks are, I think they're exactly the same as the ones at Greek Cliff. They, they look like a different colour, but I think the only reason for that is because it's a darker area. It's transparent. They, they could be stronger versions, I'm not really sure. Oh wow, so you're talking about the crystals. <laughs> no, 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 the, um... I was going to say, why can't I climb it? The, um, whoa! Those. No, the rocks. Oh, right. Yeah, those giant rocks that jump and cause, cause tremors. Yeah. Bijou's frozen. I don't remember ever getting frozen. Oh, that's because I always got the fur coat. 
I remember why I got the Fuka now. Yeah. I couldn't afford it for some reason. Uh, I think you have to like get something. It doesn't matter, there's a better piece of armor coming up soon, I think. Uh, actually coming up now. Once I break open that other wall. See, so you run down there, break open the walls. Throwing your weight around, basically. I'm just gonna see what's over here. Not much. Oh, you can drop down there too. Right. I'll do that in a second. Because there's something down there that I want as well. So there's a few little hidden secrets in this area. I should have picked up that money. First hidden secret is the ice suit. So now I no longer need the fur coat because this is a better this is better protection than the fur coat anyway. And it's free. So yeah, whatever. And I'll go all the way back around again. This is something I want to get. I think it was a weapon or something. I think it was the fire pike, actually. So let's get that now. See this little vine here? You can climb down there and drop down here. Drop down here. There you go. Here it is. It's a useful weapon for this area, especially. Use your obtained fire pike. Useful weapon for this area because most enemies here are ice based and fire element is strong against ice. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. Theoretically, it should be. Pretty cool, right? Now you can move this rock. And you come out the door here. So you can't, you can't go in the door to get there because that rock's in the way. You can only move it from behind. That's why you gotta drop down there. I'll just quickly swing back around. Huh. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, those enemies are a little bit annoying, the ones with the pitchforks. Um, they're not, they're not too bad. It's just that you can only attack them with jumping attacks. Oh, that was already open. Okay. Didn't even need to go all the way around. Silly me. Should have realized that in the way past. Okay. I find these ice enemies a little bit annoying only because they just pop up really randomly. And these multiply when you kill them. Or divided. But you can kill the divided forms in a hit. And they give you experience on their own, I think. So they're cool enemies to train on. So there's not that many of them, I don't think. Ah, yes. I am a snowgrass. My leaves are effective for wounds. Put a leaf in the hot spring and soak in it to cure all your wounds. I will give you a leaf. Bijou obtained snowgrass leaf! Hello, Cassie. Um, and this is where you get the Yeti to um, befriend you, or you befriend the Yeti more accurately. Um, because remember that Yeti it was in the hot spring, if you put the snow grass leaf in there, the Yeti's like, Oh, thank you very much, oh, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, level 17. Why didn't you change save this? Yeah, you did. Did you put the other one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. Ryan has some me goring. They're very nice noodles. Very, very nice noodles. In uh, Indonesian or something. That's some weird language. Yeah, I think that was in Indonesian. So where are you up to now? Um, oh shit, I'm confused. Um, this, this messes up your controls. I forgot that they did this. Um, so my down at the moment is making me walk this way. I'm pressing down on the keypad, but... I there, it switches around. No, it switches around a bit. It's really annoying. But it should wear off now. Yeah, there we go. When you walk out in the area. And you put the snow grass leaf in here, you ought to equip it to do so. Pardon? He throws you across the bit that you can't get across. It's like a chasm. Oh, I have a life potion, I didn't use it. Forgot about it. Um, it's like a it's like a chasm or an area that you can't get across usually, but he throws you across there, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we'll do that in the next part. 
So see you then for the befriendment of the Yeti.